different kind of battle. Your weapons are not bullets and guns, but six mass and thermal scanners against the coronavirus disease for COVID-19. Police visibility po yung ginagawa namin ngayon. Pero we ensure na kami ay nakikapordinate its food force. The Venezuela City may kawaii border. Several military trucks were deployed to help secure Metro Manila as a community quarantine stays to sex Sunday morning. The guidance so far, those who want to enter the region to show proof that they are working or have business in Metro Manila, no ifs and plus. They will also undergo temperature checks. Ang ID na kung saan sa sinagtatrabaho, napaka-importante po yun. Kung saan siya nakasira, importante din po yun. Para ma-identify natin kung ang isang tao uh, na sinisita ay ang um, IG. It's the first day of Metro Manila's community quarantine, which means that there will be travel restrictions for those who are living and entering Metro Manila. So military and Philippine National Police personnel are deployed in different borders right here at the border of Venezuela City and Nekawai and Bulacan. But for some residents living near the border, they are still unsure if the military presence could really make an impact against the COVID-19 threat. <laughs> Random checking and spot inspections were being done in Kansas City, Balintawang, and Mindanao Avenue. Police officials, however, clarified that they are not prohibiting entry to Metro Manila just yet. In Kainta, which also declared its town under community quarantine, implemented stricter protocols at its Marikina Kainta border. But some motorists were still surprised during the inspection. For those who want to enter the Inta, um, what do they have to present or show? Showing symptoms and fever will be brought to the nearest hospital. <laughs> the metro wide quarantine will last until April 14. Chris Saladalo, CNN Philippines. The
dapat ang nakasakay is ang 25. Now, yung, yung pag-tuit area, ang usapan namin sa recent area, dapat hindi kami-tabi. Kasi siguro kung bata o gano'n. At yung pika na one share. So, occupied, pre-cut, occupied, pre-cut. So, gano'n po ang gagawin po ng doon. Dahil yun pa ang nagsisipitan. Now, pati yung pagtitila, ang sequence ng pila, dapat one share distance. Ang gagawin na po rin, sisitayin sila, maintain the distance. At kung pwede, pag-pass na sila. Okay? Yan ang kukuha natin. Sir. Sir, mayroon po ba tayo data on how many farms we're looking at to process the borrow at least yung morning, morning rush hour? Opo, tapos po pa. Ah, ay, hindi na, pwede ko rin. Ah, it's really, it's really, kasi, baka, kasi, 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 is it use yung ano, yung part, yung future part, ay may mga pick up points. Kung galing ka sa Bulacan area, ito ang kayo sa Bukawi. So, sa Bukawi, bababa tayo, sa Bukawi sila na, ay yung designated na sa Bukawi. So, pag bago nito pa tayo, ay pwede yung kinisek na rin kayo. Parang pagdating sa atin, hindi na po natin kinisek. Sir, why were the list of checkpoints, stroke points, released after the implementation of the midnight quarantine. Why was it not released beforehand? Because we're checking, 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 we're checking,
computer. Sir, meron din daw sa from LGU na nag-donate din sila sa PNP na pwedeng magamit ng mga thermal scanners sa mga checkpoint dun sa area um, area of jurisdiction nila, sir. Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, so this is my civil police. We requested this. Okay, I'm talking about the DOH and the OHL and the OHL. So, I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm So, ang representative ng LGU, ang mga kinotak namin, is yung mga mga So, yung, yung ibang partner sa amin, the acting has deployed for yung malalaking palang, uh, uh, high risk lab. So, we're appealing sa amin na yung other mga federal, pati po yun yung sila para sa tatap. Because the direct impulse na dapat sa isang strong point na ma-identify is PSP, AAP, uh, Coast Guard, Zero five and zero eight personnel plus zero zero. You know, you can pass through the mga sasakyan. For example, from Laguna, from South, going to North. Because the other day, sabi niya, papayagan naman considering na meron lang sila na ruta na dadaan. So na ayon na ayon ang sila ko ba yung? Yeah, and the other one, 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 Thank you. 
Lingas din o walang sakit. Tapos kayo naman po ang approach. May case na po ba ng COVID? Thank you. 
He said that, that, that there will be no closure of roads in Metro Manila, but checkpoints will be put in place in uh, different quarters of the Metro Manila. He said that 1,600 police personnel were, were deployed in 56 checkpoints in uh, different quarters of Metro Manila, but that uh, the problem is not all checkpoints have uh, thermal scanners of the 56 checkpoints, only about half or 50% have the temperature scanners. As of now, Sina said that they are still looking at procuring more temperature scanners to be used in the different checkpoints. Now, uh, checkpoints are now in place in entry and exit points around Metro Manila. Let's check the situation on the ground with our Paolo Barcelona joining us from the Met Mutin Lupa. Paolo. Well, Joyce, we're halfway through the first day of the implementation of travel restrictions here in Metro Manila. Here in the southern part of the quarantined national capital region, police have also set up checkpoints. As you can see behind me, we're currently here at the Susana Heights checkpoint in Muntinlupa City. This is an exit of the South Luzon Expressway. There's a buildup of vehicles going in uh, to Muntinlupa City. Earlier this morning, there was also a buildup of vehicles going out, but that uh, uh, line of vehicles has somehow dwindled uh, this uh, uh, or this time of uh, the new police are keeping tight watch here they are conducting temperature checks on drivers and passengers uh, the same can be said in checkpoints along Paranaque and Las Piñas we also went there earlier this morning Joyce and we saw that in Paranaque policemen were closely advising bus drivers and passengers to strictly follow the guidelines that were set by the Department of Transportation, among them the, uh, the social distancing rule where uh, passengers should be asked to sit apart and that only 25 people, including the driver and the conductor of the public utility buses, should be allowed in. Meantime, in Las Piñas, we mostly saw vans carrying employees, uh, uh, some of the employees are employing this car in order to get to work, and uh, police officers are also checking their uh, temperature. Now we do at or in all checkpoints rather, ambulances are on standby to promptly bring to the hospital people who exhibit coronavirus symptoms. Here in the uh, Susana Heights uh, checkpoint, we haven't seen any uh, member of the, or any passenger or driver being taken to hospital as of the moment. We do advise motorists here in the south to plan ahead and prepare your trips as travel restrictions really will or are affecting traffic now here at these checkpoints. Joyce. Oh, well, what were the officers armed with assault rifles? I can see one just behind you. Do they have any word on why they have weapons like this, these in the checkpoints? Well, uh, Joyce, I asked the uh, BNP uh, Deputy Chief for Operations General Aguilar and he told us uh, in the next message that, that it is normal for police officers to have a long firearms or assault rifles even while on checkpoints. I also asked one of the policemen here and that uh, his uh, explanation was that they are being deployed at an area where there is no uh, police camp. That's why uh, they are carrying uh, assault rifles. But we'll see further clarification from the PNP regarding uh, this matter. Well, how are PUB staffing through the area complying with social distancing? So far, Joyce, uh, just to give you a little bit of context, Susana Heights, uh, uh, common area for public utility vehicles to pass through, especially here in the southern part of Metro Manila. What we normally see here are jeepneys and buses, but uh, due to the travel restrictions that were imposed here, even the uh, multi-caps or some of the like jeepney style, a smaller uh, unit of uh, jeepneys are also being used here this uh, Multicaps are also uh, traveling in Pukavite. Uh, the jeepney so far, I haven't seen, uh, or most of the jeepneys rather, aren't really practicing the social distancing thing, and uh, uh, they are still uh, having passengers inside the jeep sitting together. But the buses are more uh, compliant, I should say, in terms of these guidelines that were set by the Department of Transportation. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, only 25 passengers are allowed inside the bus, including the driver and conductor. Most of the buses that are coming here uh, have less than 25 or exactly 25 passengers. Joyce? Thank you, Paolo Barcelona, and they are reporting from Mugimupa.
So there's been some confusion over the imposition of curfew in the uh, Metro Manila. Yesterday, the Metro Manila Department of Force announced that there would be one from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. But the Interior Local Government Department clarified that can't happen also unless local government units approve an ordinance to impose the curfew. However, Melissa Young weighed in, saying only President Duterte is authorized to impose the curfew. So to be clear on the matter, there is no curfew in Metro Manila amid ongoing travel restrictions to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Usually on a Sunday, the roads are free from bumper to bumper traffic. But today, if you're out and about, it's distinctly different. There are even fewer people on the road. We now speak to NBA General Manager Jojo Garcia, or uh, we'll go back to that later. We'll speak later to uh, General Manager Jojo Garcia. Now, amid the growing concerns about COVID-19, we want to remind all of you out there about the importance of good personal hygiene. Wash your hands often and frequently with soap and water. This is a CNN closing special presentation. We'll be right back in a live report in Taipa. What's the situation there? Our CSR campaign will have the details. <laughs> Thank you. 